In this demonstration, we see how to find some binomial probabilities using the TI-8384 graphing calculators. Um, so to find binomial probabilities, the first thing we want to do is get this function called binome PDF. That stands for binomial probability density function. And we'll follow along this example here. So the way to get to this function is to print second and then theirs. That gets us up to distributions, D-I-S-T-R in blue up here. So it's the second um, button followed by theirs. Now I'm looking for the binome PDF function on here. It's not on the first page. I have to keep scrolling down. So I scroll down until I find it. And I went by it but it is right there. Be careful because there's one that looks just like it called binome CDF that we'll get to in a second. So you hit enter. And the important thing to remember is that the usage is slightly different than the notation in the text. The first input variable is the number of trials. So that'll be 10. And then the comma with the comma button. The next variable is the probability of a single success, which in this case is 0.7. So I put comma in after that. And then the number of successes I'm looking for is 4. So I put a 4 in there, close it off with the right parentheses, and hit Enter. And it gives that uh, probability. And when you round that to three significant digits, you get this answer over here, 0.0368. Now, there are times when you may want to get a cumulative probability. And for that, we use the binome CDF. And that stands for the Binomial Cumulative Density Function. Um, the usage is basically the same. But what it does is instead of finding a single probability, it finds the probability of getting a given number of successes or less. In other words, we have a probability that x is less than or equal to 4. That means we have to find the probability of getting 0, of getting 1, of getting 2, of getting 3, and of getting 4, and adding all those together, hence the cumulative effect. Um, but the usage is basically the same. We go and we find it by going to second button, VARES, and then we scroll down until we find binome CDF. And once we get there, it's right below binomial PDF, hit enter. Same exact usage. We're going to put in the number of trials, 10, comma, the probability of a single success, which is 0.7, comma, and then the number of successes, 4. Close that off with the right parentheses. Hit enter. And that gives us the probability of getting four or fewer successes. Rounded to three significant digits is 0.0473. Um, so again, this is um, this is pretty easy stuff. The thing is finding it and making sure you're using the correct one, binome PDF or binome CDF, and making sure you use it correctly. In other words, you put in these variables in the correct order. First is the number of trials, second is the probability of success, and last is the number of successes. So if you can keep that straight, it's um, really quite easy.